anything else. Uh, I'm, I'm just uh, picking on this because it's, uh, it's not a trivial task, and many people will work um, a long time on this, so it should be really justified. Yeah, we can work on it, on justification. We had a lot of arguments earlier, but we lost them. Maybe we should have a discussion forum thread and uh, try to see, yeah, try to publicize the pros and cons. Is, are there some uh, new features on CodePlex that uh, we don't know about? Uh, <laughs> because one of I the know. points uh, last week was that CodePlex wasn't evolving uh, nearly as fast as uh, GitHub is. Yes, another reason maybe to move to Git is to move to another uh, uh, hosting for the source code, GitHub being the best solution in terms of uh, source code management because of the tooling, bug management and discussions and pull requests and everything, which makes things lots more easier. Yeah, and uh, I don't know, I think, I don't know how free we are to move in terms of uh, Microsoft support, I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what I know is today any Microsoft project is by default on CodePlex. Yeah. Has to be by default on CodePlex. Uh, yeah. Well. And, and CodePlex is evolving too, so maybe it's the same for Mercurial. We it, it's SignalR on CodePlex. Oh, it's, it's, it's on GitHub. SignalR is on yeah. GitHub. <laughs> because it was historically on GitHub. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I, 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 I understand why. That's and fine. whatever they want to do, they will do. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's also because of that. Nobody has to say anything to them. <laughs> yeah. They have the power. <laughs> they they want they want a new screen? Okay, let's they want uh, I don't know. Boobs? Let's let's buy you boobs if you need need to work on signal. That's that's the yeah. Okay. Signal um, are all the things. <laughs> One of the one of the things uh, that came up was, um, you know, today we've got complex or modules and complex or Bitbucket or, or, and we still also have the Orchard Gallery. So you've got to kind of keep those two in sync when you make a change if you want to release a new version. So would GitHub enable us to have one single place, and and the ga we could somehow extend the gallery to to kind of uh, pull the description and the wiki and all that from GitHub when, directly? When we redo the gallery, I hope we don't all agree that we will work with repositories directly. Yeah. And my idea was that we could work with any kind of repository. You could, you could link to uh, a Nugget package somewhere on the SCAD drive, or you can link to a Git uh, repository, or you can link to Mercurial repository. That's just about provide providers which will provide external modules. That's it. So it, it will not yeah. be a, an issue for Mercurial and Git, the new gallery. Yeah, that'd be great, because then you have one place, you make your pushes, you make and yeah. you it's, either place. it's Mercurial or Git, it's just about where you want to host your module. Then hosting the gallery code itself is one decision, and hosting Orchard code itself is another decision. Mm -hmm. And ideally, they will all use the same tools, <laughs> because, yeah, ideally, even if it's not related. I don't care if you host your modules in Mercurial, and I don't, and I think I don't care if the gallery code is hosting on GitHub, and maybe Orchard is hosting on CodePlex Mercurial. That's different matters. Maybe people, yeah. Yeah, I'm just, it all sounds good, but the, you're only one person. I'm just wondering who else can work on some of this stuff. Like, I'm only one. Are you kidding me? You're, you're like seven, but we, yes, need, I'm we more. need 14. <laughs> well, the, the past month, I've been like nobody. Negative seven? <laughs> <laughs> You've been like negative seven people. Yeah, we failed to change. Yeah. Me too. No more one month of holidays. Stupid. Yeah. Well, you had to take them, right? Otherwise, you no. would have lost yeah, them. Yes, I would have lost them. But uh, yeah, no. It's just much family. Yeah. One day they will die, I will be free. They will, <laughs> they, they will come to me. You will miss them. You will miss them. 
Uh, English, it's okay, I can say anything it's I want. The day, it's the day you die, you are truly free. Oh, maybe they will be free. And you, oh, you will be free too. Definitely. Ah, let's hack the code, whoa, push everything. <laughs> <laughs> I love and the fact that these are on, all recorded. Then you need to be on Git because, yeah, <laughs> to revert everything. So, okay. yeah, so what did you say and what did we decide uh, with uh, the current discussion, the last 10 minutes? That, uh, yeah, Git, moving all shard code to Git is another discussion and to Git her code plex is another discussion, yeah. discussion also. And, yeah, the gallery will be redone and compatible with any hosting. Git or Mercurial or whatever. If we provide a, a provider for uh, fetching uh, modules. Okay. Yeah. But we all agree, I think, on this one. We need to, to, to it's not for yet. We have more, uh, some other priorities right now. And and also what I wanted to say, I, I, I watched um, the first meeting I, I missed and uh, you were all complaining about the current gallery Fuck off! The gallery is working <laughs> great. There hasn't been any, any downtime I can remember, and yes, it yeah, needs improvements. Yeah, improvements. But it's a great gallery. There are there are modules that we can't update their modules. Yeah. Galleries. There are contact requests that don't work for some. Mysterious yeah, that's why reason. we want to, to redo it. And, to, yeah. And pushing. And pushing uh, changes to this gallery is something that we've been avoiding <laughs> because, because we know that it takes days. <laughs> yeah, next one. Uh, so if there is another code base that works as well, I will be happy to switch. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. But the one, current, the current one is working. No, right. don't, don't, it's, don't. It's fine for now, but. Uh, I won't regret it. Okay, any demos today? Uh, yep. Uh, we at Manalek have um, made something, or rather improved something. Okay, go ahead. Cool. Uh, the daily module from Zoltan and Bendek. Perfect, perfect. Uh, yeah. Uh, Wow. The weekly, sorry, the weekly module. Yeah, we have to, we have to keep, uh, uh, keep to the schedule. The quota. All right, everything is connecting, and now you should see my screen. Are you seeing it? No. Nothing. No. Wait, wait. Wait for it. There's lag. Um, will you do the talking, Zoltan? Sorry? Will you do the talking? Uh, yeah, I love talking. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright, uh, now you should definitely see my screen. Yes. So. Uh, still not. Uh. On Tart Bimitatot, Asta Hakile Paz Astali, what ball? Mego Stasi à la postor, never for Glatsani. Fall Mega Mego Stats. Folila to Dick, what? You're better than the building Windows uh, I can read text reader. <laughs> yeah, that was like a screen reader. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Alright, okay. uh, everybody is seeing, I guess. Uh, so, you know, we have this module uh, that's, that's the training demo module. Uh, we have released it, released it a while ago, but uh, now it's, it's pretty complete. Because uh, we have the, the training, uh, training thematics, uh, as you also may, may know. And um, here we have the module development and Orchard APIs uh, thematics uh, that includes uh, really all kinds of stuff that uh, an Orchard developer should know. And basically, everything from here is now included in this uh, demo module. So we added uh, unit tests, 
today, uh, event handling, background tasks, and there's also a kind of map that you definitely like. And it was made by Benedek actually. Now this, this is an index file and also an abuse of C sharp because uh, basically you have uh, keywords here for everything that's contained in the modules. So like uh, you search for uh, whatever the uh, basic services of Orchard or you search for uh, how to use a notifier and you have a, have a, a reference here uh, that you can follow, of course, uh, uh, by hitting uh, F12. And you have you have an example uh, immediately for, for these types of uh, topics. Uh, so that's our that's our updates on that module. It's now really complete, uh, full of all kinds of stuff. So uh, please take a look at it. Uh, we are. Uh, we would be very happy to hear any feedback regarding that. And of course, if, if somebody is uh, starting with Orchard today and, and learned uh, Orchard development from this, we will be extremely happy to hear that. <laughs> because this would be uh, really great. Uh, so that's it. There's, uh, there's nothing else to show. Uh, it runs, of course, but it has no functionality and no function apart from uh, serving as a demo. No, it's really good, Sultan. I've, I've actually recommended this to a couple companies who have asked me to do presentations. Um, really great. I, I don't have time, so I've just said go and look at this module, and they've been quite happy to do that instead. Um, but uh, yeah, they, it's, it's really good. Um, but yeah, I've been recommending it out, so yeah. Keep great, it up thanks. <laughs> Thanks. No, it's fantastic. School, thanks. Okay. Any other demos? Um, I haven't got a demo, but I did. Um, I spoke to one of my friends, and someone's built a trading platform on Orchard, which is pretty interesting. <laughs> I don't really understand how that works, but um, someone in Bath has built a trading platform. I don't know. I trading like to see works. It. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I have to find out more information. But, um, that's all I got so far. Out. It's not public. It's not public. No, it's private. Yeah. I'll try and find out more information. I don't know if it's forex. Who told you about forex? Uh, Piero. I know forex. Uh, foreign exchange. I don't. <laughs> Nasdaq. I don't know. I don't, so you know, I don't know what, I, I have so to. So Sebastian knows something that we don't. No, I'm maybe mistaking some uh, something like I can show you. I will show you. Maybe I don't, maybe that's not it. But the, the the name sounds familiar. Let me try to find what I can show you. I think this is this guy. Um, yes, I can show it to you. I can give you the the link of the website that some guys made. Very nice. But that's not what is forex, by the way. <laughs> a foreign exchange uh, trading platform. Okay, that's not it. Okay, what is it, Piotr? About forex and um, it's. No, you know what, what Nick uh, said about uh, trading. So it was a oh. first thing I thought about. Yeah, just it's kind of popular, you know, to I'm trading on on currencies, but I don't really get it. So let, let me check that what I am about to show you is already public. Uh, I assume so because it's a public URL, a public website, so you can browse it. I will paste the link and uh, play with it. Funny, it's nice. Um, somewhere, shut it, please, if, it, if it's interesting enough, you know, to, to be able to see it on the video. Hello. No. <laughs> yeah, can you can you can you share it? So that, uh, it's on the video. Thanks. <laughs>
Um, blah blah blah. Where is the share? Share secondary monitor. So this is, this is a website, celsia.com. I've been told this is a big uh, concrete provider, like what? Well, and they've made a website where you have widgets, you know, here on the front end that you can move. And each widget has specific content and is using Ajax stuff. Slow. Yes, uh, maybe if I switch browsers. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 it's, it's slow for me. Um, yeah. yeah, it used to be fast. Try changing the language. That, that was the slowest part of it. Yeah, I don't care. Just, you know what, you know, I'm just saying. It's... I think the world website is only Neutron. Let me check. But that's very nice. Too keen on the orange, but yeah, it is nice. Yeah, more oh, chord. <laughs> and you can see it's a recent version because you don't have all the like 15 CSS and JavaScript from uh, Piotr module, the menu. <laughs> it's for a big site, it's very out of date. It doesn't, yeah, it's performance issues. I don't know. Mm, yeah, but there's a lot of four. I'm getting 404s on the site. Oh, maybe, no. maybe it's not finished. I don't know. Mm. Do we want to start triage today? Do you want to finish triage? No. You started? No. Okay. Finishing triage, I don't think so. Oh. Finish a module. For one seven. You finished the module? I heard uh, Ilan's um, worries about hey, we need something in one seven at least. Don't worry. It's always the same. We have ten features suggested. We finished three, and it's still awesome worries. So. Um, have you got any new like workflow module? Wait, don't you like the fact that I don't have to say anything and Sebastian, I'm already in his head? Yeah. It's a nice and, change. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I've made some progress in the workflow module. I I did some work uh, in the early, early days on, uh, on um, <clears throat> the editor and how to edit each node. So it's working very nicely and Oh, I can show you I broke the build, and uh, but I'm I'm progressing. I'd like to um, understand how I can build it into, or how the forums module can um, can benefit from it. Yeah, I uh, think you will be able to. You can also provide your own actions and events. There will be generic event, generic events like in the rules module, like some content has been published, and you can say content is a thread or a block. A forum post, and then you can have uh, some scripts running as a task where you do your script stuff to check some things, or you can execute some other actions, or have some delays, or I don't know. Okay, so... Uh, and doing something like a spam detector, I don't know. Well, no, well, it's... I, I need to do something, I need to hook in moderation, so I want to... I want to yeah. understand how I can use it for a moderation pipeline. Yes, moderation, definitely. So, we need you to could say when a, when a a new post on this forum has been created. You could say, change or send an email to this guy, or put this uh, forum into a draft and update this in them. And I don't know. And then if someone says or create a task for a user, and when someone says publish, then it goes, it continues on the workflow, and in the end, it publishes the thread. So yes, definitely. So okay, so I think we need to. I think we need to work together and. Try no, and find no, no I, I work alone always. And in the end, you use it. <laughs> but I should, yes, th there will be some examples with workflow, and workflow for a page or for a post will be the same. So it will be easy for you to use it. So don't do anything. All right, well, wait, well, wait for workflow module. When you're ready, when you're, when you're in a position, then 
pygmy and we try and get it working for um, forums. How's that? Yeah. And then you can tell me what's wrong with my forum. Oh, John, good place. So, Sebastian, one of the things that came up while you were gone, you may have seen it in the videos, um, we were talking about the amount of bugs that we had, and the idea was maybe to do a, um, a virtual hackathon um, where we could get a bunch of people on a particular set of dates, let's say two days in a row, um, make a call out there and get people involved and sort of try to make it fun if we can, but have the community participate in the hackathon to get through the list of bugs Maybe even fit focus on a feature for one seven. That 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 would be a nice to have. What are your thoughts about that? Uh, I'd like to, but I'm skeptical as usual. Um, as am I, by the way. But I think we should try something. Yeah. Uh, yes, we could try. Not trying would be a mistake. But um, yeah. Any any ideas how you might want to try and do that? Even, by the way, I know this is going a little further, but even, by the way, trying to get some of the guys at Microsoft who may or may not, you know... They don't even know about Archon. <laughs> it really is like the basement project of basement projects. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I am the basement guy. No, yeah, yeah. But I think it will change. With I hope it will change with 1.7. With the thing we want to raise in 1.7, the, the, the Maybe vision... Too. Maybe we can get different. them excited about it. Meaning, yes, because you know, we all what we miss is a user-facing, nice features. Yes, and you know, like I will advocate for like a, a new theme, workflow layout editor, and optionally inline editing, which I don't trust in. But it's those kind of features uh, grab a lot of attention. Yes, to a product, and yes. one seven might be a good point for me personally to push it internally and see what it results. And I know I have no pull, push, or anything, but if you would like my help in any way, shape, or form, you know I've been an advocate of all those things so, for a yeah, long time. I, I like to wait to, to, to put my, uh, to wait for D7, for 1.7 and push more than pushing now with nothing really new to show to them. Sure. And wasting it, so wasting our attention and so once, but for 1.7 it will be definitely uh, the moment for me to do that. Wait for it. Okay. <laughs> um, but yes, for bug fixes, um, yes, there, there are not so many important ones, I think. There are a lot. There, are, there, are, there, has, al there has always been a lot of fixes to do, but right now, yeah. Maybe later I have to to focus on being 100% into the work, and moving forward first. Too many tasks right now. Okay, so when would be a good time to do this? <laughs> Not tomorrow. <laughs> um, yeah, I think do. first we need to go over all the old ones and open them for 1.7. Yeah. Something we haven't done yet. So. Okay. And and who will be willing to participate here? Uh, well, I already said that I would. Do, I would. Um, I already asked Bertrand if he wanted to go through it last week, so I'll be available whenever you guys want to do it. Because um, it's it's like for uh, module developments, uh, as Bertrand said, we need uh, volunteers, and then as Ilan said, we need to push people. So. Uh, and and we all know that people have work to do and live on the on the time they spend for working. So I'll be doing. It. I'll be there. Pay anyone to do that? <laughs> I'm up for it too. When uh, when is? Uh, you have to rest first, you, and next year you can come back. Well, that that's. <laughs> how about the how about I, the first week of February to rest? So that will be a perfect opportunity to. Help with that. And, t and also, uh, which time zone? It's the thing. If we do it, let's say, over a weekend, a two-day period, I'm just throwing that out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, but meaning you don't have to be online for 48 hours. Nobody yeah, can yeah. do it like that. I mean, that, and you can you can leverage the, the time zones where 
you know, now Europe's on for the next five hours. Now North America's on for the next five hours. I mean, mm. it's an approach. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid that there will be lots of questions on how to fix it or lost, um, wasted time because people so, don't know how to fix it. So maybe we focus on a set of 12 hours. Oh, yeah, or something, yeah, something like that, even less. For the or, first time. Yeah. And let's do it like the first week of February. You, you have, we have to put a stake in the ground at some point, as everybody likes to tell me for something for my projects here. Okay, I'm writing down uh, first week of February tentatively, and uh, unless uh, there are some. And you guys, uh, we, ideally, we, you, you guys would. That's really but, what we should do, aside from that, is you guys should tweet about it. And we need to somehow get a way for, um, maybe we even get a, a, a like pound harp, uh, pound orchard hackathon, right? And then see, get people talking about it out out, out there, and see what people, who says I'm in, and then we collate those people and get them organized so somehow. Actually, we already did that once okay. with um, Ara from Boston. Yeah. Um, what he made with his uh, friends, he made one thing like one one. Like that, and I joined them on uh, Google Hangout, yeah. and uh, I helped them to fix. It was three bugs for 1.6, and based on that, we fixed two of them. One was um, the pop-up uh, editor, the HTML pop-up from uh, Rebecca, who styled the thing, and another one was, I think, a razor issue. And uh, so it it was fun. Yeah, it took two hours to fix uh, a two minutes two minutes bug. But yeah, it was it was fun, and actually we had uh, yeah, there was some success in the end. So, but so we use Google Hangout. We could use this link meeting to gather and ask questions on how to fix some bugs. If someone wants to ask a question, and anyone can answer to help fix the bugs, that could be done like that. At least to organize. Great. Let's go for it. First week of February looks good to me. I'm not around on the weekend of the first week of February, but you can do it without me. So let's do it Valentine's and, Day. And, and why not on a <laughs> on a weekday? It can be on a weekday. I just threw that out there. Yeah, week weekdays are better for me, but because my wife will divorce. And I need I, and I need her to cook. I was going to say, I and then you're going to be free. No, I, I, I'm hungry sometimes. So she's cooking for me, so I need her. We met her. She's very lovely. <laughs> she puts up with you every day. And she's breastfeeding my daughter, so no, I need her. <laughs> <laughs> I have the same problem at home. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, should we set a date? Set it. Let me see. February. Thursday? February the 7th. Yeah. Feb 7th. There you go. How's that for everyone? That's a Thursday. I, I just wanted to yeah. shout out to uh, Brett for reminding me to bring this up, so thanks, Brett. My time. It's all part of my uh, puppet. All day. It's all part yeah, all of my day. puppet regime uh, plan. All day, so uh, US needs to wake up early. Or oh, it would be good to start together or together the first time at least, just to see where it goes and. Um, yeah. Um, because it's not that I don't like Europe, but. Uh, Bertram and me are sure. on PST, so it would be sad if one of us would not be there. Uh, shall we start at uh, 9 Pacific time? Yeah. Is that too early? Oh, that, for me it's not early, it's just, isn't that, oh, so what time is it then in France? It's 6 o'clock in France. Um, then in yeah, six. Poland or whatever. It's 6 o'clock uh, in all those countries. So that's okay. Uh, that's all right, isn't it, Pierre? You work till like six. You work till six. You, you guys want? 
Do you guys yeah, want to start fine for me. Uh, earlier? Do you want? Do you guys want to start uh, without us, or uh, maybe we just, you know, we just show up online uh, around midnight the, the previous day and uh, say hi, and you guys start and uh, we join you at nine uh, the, the the following day. Oh, you know what would be cool is if we did it twelve oh one to twelve. You know, like a, so you start at twelve oh one with in, with Europe, and then you go all the way to PST twelve midnight the next day. Yeah, we. I mean, not uh, everyone doesn't have to be online all the time. I mean, it's. Uh... No, there's no way. <laughs> okay, so it would be uh, February seventh, uh, twenty-four hours from uh, midnight to midnight. Very cool. Worldwide, I guess. Um, and that's why you, so you can you can position it from a marketing perspective. I think that's great. Midnight to midnight, which time zone? Uh, Pacific. Okay. So that's about uh, 9 a.m. Uh, in Europe. And uh, yeah, the same, world same the world was the world revolves around the Pacific time zone. Come on. Wait, 9 a.m. in England. In Europe, um, you mean? Yeah, it's probably eight. eight in England. Eight a oh till eight a.m. Wait. What? No, we're starting at midnight PST, which is eight a.m. UK time, nine a.m. Central European time. Oh shit! So we're starting. Oh. Is there a time frame which is not in the night for either? Europe or in the States. Oh. I yeah, don't see. Uh, I don't uh, see anyone uh, fixing early bugs. For us is, is late afternoon for Europe. So <laughs> nine a.m. to nine p.m. and for the same time. Uh, uh, wow! I'm gonna miss most of it. Yeah. Well, that's because it's during the week, and during the week you're working. Well, that's why I thought if we were doing it at 9 a.m., uh, PST. Um, it's the same, same. You're still going through a 24-hour period. I don't, I don't quite get it. Meaning... Yeah, because because you care about your 24. Personally, I don't care about 24 because I know it's... Yeah, it's interesting from marketing perspective, but... But it's the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's the exact same result. Yeah, but uh, we tell people, okay, they, they, let's say... Listen, if you start at midnight and it's in the morning and Zoltan and other people are available except for Nick, no problem, great, we get started. But, but they when get started. started. When Nick comes home from work, yes, it but... happens to be 7 p.m. If... and it happens to be 8 a.m. your morning, you pick up with him at that time and you keep going. It's if there's no difference. If we start at a time when there is no one in the lobby... Everyone will won't come again two okay. hours after. Yeah. If you start at midnight, you know that Piotr and Zoltan and and uh, and Benedict and some other people might be available. Okay, so we have volunteers. Oh yeah. Let's let's make sure that uh, we have uh, we we each commit to a time frame, uh, so that we have at least one person in the meeting at all times. Yes. And, uh, today uh, we won't have that problem. Okay. So don't tell Piotr, but we might give him one hour before, so we are sure he's on time. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, yeah. I was. I should have banned him before. <laughs> All right. Cool. That, that sounds very cool. And sure we have lots of fun. Um, virtual, virtual pizza for everyone. Virtual pizza. We could. bright. You know, it doesn't have to be virtual, Elon. I'm sure you could get us. <laughs> yeah. Elon, I'm yeah. sure you could get a sponsorship of a yeah, pizza that's coupon. That's would rock. Have pizza delivered to the homes of people participating. Yeah, Elon could set that up. <laughs> Elon can pay that up. <laughs> and uh, um, oh. What we could do also is uh, 
you could at uh, one stop make a meeting room for that. We can definitely room. do that. And we could make it at Microsoft if some people in the area want to join. Yeah. I will join, but I don't expect are you at, Are you still at Microsoft? <laughs> still. Yeah, if you invite me, I'll, I'll go to Microsoft. Are you allowed in the building, Bertrand? Yeah, well, I, I can invite. Me, yeah, I have, I have to get a, you know, a t temporary badge. <laughs> anyone anyone is allowed. Great. And I'm sure I can finance pizza for everyone joining. Come to my house. No, I mean at Microsoft, you should come. But uh, yeah, well, uh, frankly, uh, uh, well, yeah, if, if the company sponsors uh, pizza, that, that would be cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pizza, it's very real. Pizza, coffee, and cookies, and everything for the day. Cool. Very cool. Great. Um, and yeah. let's and let's talk about it to Ara if I if he knows people in Boston as he made it once. Oh yeah. Yeah. The more places we have that that have a physical location uh, where people meet. Uh, that, flight, that <laughs> flight yes. Washington for pizza. Come on, Adrian. <laughs> yeah, it's really good pizza, though. Yeah. So, who else want to organize a local, uh, local gathering? So, will, will there be something in Boston? We don't, we have to ask Ara. Okay. Um. So there will be one at Microsoft uh, in uh, Redmond. Uh, will there be one in Los Angeles? Mm, maybe. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> oh, maybe of course. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I will host it in my house. Oh, big house. Beautiful. Yeah, we'll do one in LA. Um, and on the be beach, one in Hungary, on the beach, and there'll be one. This is where it gets cool. There'll be one in Hungary. There'll be one in uh, Warsaw. Yep. Uh, London, Nick. I'll be here. Great, awesome. We're global. Yeah. <laughs> we'll set up webcams. <laughs> Wait, what kind of part? What kind of party is this? Well, I don't know if any girls will be there, oh. unfortunately. Your wife, maybe? Yeah, my wife will be there. Oh, sweet. I'm there. Okay. Okay, we have Amsterdam, uh, Warsaw, London, LA, Edmond, Budapest. Uh, Budapest. He has to clear it with the Hungarian Mafia first. <laughs> they run everything there. <laughs> what? Oh they yeah. Already sent, they already scan Zoltan's code for security vulnerabilities when he pushes. We have all the pizza in Budapest, so it's okay. I hope this doesn't evolve to a pyjama party. <laughs> Alright. Um, anything else about the hackathon? Let's, let's try to do some triage, even if we do 20 bucks. Yeah, so this oh. time I ordered in the, with the oldest bugs first, mm -hmm. because otherwise we only triage the new ones and not the old ones and people complain. November 1, okay, November 1st, look at that. Um, okay, let's start. Do you just want me to turn all mine to Orchard 1.7? <laughs> uh, I didn't uh, Yeah, maybe what we need here is a, a little uh, topic on the documentation that explains where to put your dependencies. Um, when you create a module, you mean? 
Yeah. Yes, you put them in your module. Yes, maybe it's a. Yeah. Maybe it's not. I, I don't know if it's explained, but yes. Yeah, I've never had a problem like that. I know that uh, some have. Uh, yeah. The way I do it usually is that I create a list folder in my module. I put the DLLs there and I reference those. Uh, from yeah, that's, that's how we do. Yeah, I do just that. works. It deploys everything. Yeah. And, uh, Copy local and everything. Yeah, that's how it should be handled. So the answer. Oh, I have to sign in. You have signed out of code. Yeah, so, so, well, so long, so long without. It's been that long. <laughs> So we know how many passages pass around. Yeah. We can analyze the sound and figure out what it is. Yes. Um, it's probably something like loops or I'll loops. No. <laughs> There's something like that. Not exactly, but. <laughs> So we activate it and or I close it and I explain and That's always an insult in my password and some numbers. Oh, me too. So I used yeah, to uh, use, for instance, Zizi Poilu, something like that. <laughs> the password has to be root from it. Yeah. Um, oh, I, I also sometimes start it with stuff this but you know it's slang word but encrypted into you know, <laughs> something like that so I won't say the word but that. Exactly. No. <laughs> uh, so dependency should be in a local folder of your module not been not been Yeah, I want to say we have awesome profanity in French. Um, should I close the issue? Um, oh, and you, you see, we can do fun stuff now. We can do things like that. Because we have Markdown. Oh, see, code flex is innovating. Exactly, I mean, <laughs> but, yeah, but there is some, just, some new stuff. Code just flex. here, just here. Yeah. yeah. The forums would be marked down as well. Uh, it would be so much easier for code samples. You see, and it works. Cool. Um, yeah, close it. Like it for right. What task manager with the white box? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't smell very good. <laughs> I, I, I think he'll be back. The Rossinator. <laughs> Anybody has any good jokes? <laughs> very quick ways. I think I, I stopped joking on the on the forums because I got uh, I got an angry answer this morning. 
Oh, have you got a URL? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, I don't have it handy, but uh, I think yeah. I have it here. Yeah, I made I made a joke, and uh, that guy really didn't like it, and uh, started, you know, kind of insulting me. And, okay. <laughs> Over, yeah, I, I really didn't expect that kind of reaction. Really... Two French software developers walk into a bar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what I got so far. I'm working on it. <laughs> Just start. He's back. What happened? <laughs> Has he gone again? I don't know, yeah. Sebastian, are you here? You know whereabouts it was? Was it announcements, administration? No, I have it here. Hang on. <laughs> Damn it. Hilarious. So, I need you. Paste to the chat window, please. Yeah, I don't know. Thanks. I have to confess, I know everything, and uh, people who don't are really, uh, really annoying. I mean, <laughs> uh, it was uh, Isaac Asimov who was saying, uh, those people who think they know everything are, are really annoying to uh, those of us who do. You should definitely put that on a business card. <laughs> <laughs> Coordinator of pissing people off, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine the logo? No, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sorry that, that he took you this way. I mean, I'm, I'm, you, you even I'm put a wink. I'm really sorry about the joke, but it was a joke. Come on. Come you, on you even put, you had the wink emoticon on there. That I, I, I did, yeah, I did, I did put it in there. I mean, that says, hey, I'm joking. Wink, wink. Did I miss yeah. a joke? I know. Yeah. What was Where the were joke? You? What happened to that? Flink hangout. And... Oh, we missed so, you. So, what did I miss? <laughs> Just read. Just read. No, no, I have no history. I restarted being. Oh. They made fun of you? We're yeah. trying to... Uh... Bertrand's I keyboard. A, I have a new title. Again. It's not. It's not benevolent dictator anymore. It's uh, coordinator of pissing people off. Okay. <laughs> I'm not very good at that. <laughs> no. I, I, thought, I, I thought it was Elan's job. Just you. They they actually all want me to do it to you. Okay. No one else. So the Benzi should be blah blah blah. Are you doing a good blah, job, blah. Sebastian? Yeah. Yes. Great. Close. I close, okay. Bertrand, don't let anyone change your behavior. I like I like these I like that humor. It's what makes you you. Don't uh, don't you can't change. It's called French. It is French. Yeah. I agree. Bertrand, well, you can't change your, your responses because one guy No, I mean I, I don't want, it. I don't want to unnecessarily alienate. Ali, yeah, whatever people. Alienate. 
alienate people. Uh, so I, yeah, I kind of feel bad that 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 uh, he didn't did you, took it. Did as you a apologize? Uh, Woo! Not really. I I made a no apologize. You know. Oh, uh, there's a discussion. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I almost did, and. Uh, if you feel bad, just apologize. Yeah, he so used the word sorry. He did. He said sorry. Yeah, well, it was an apology. I, 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 it was kind of, uh, I'm sorry you didn't see it was a joke, which is, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which could be it's taken a... as even ruder, you know. But, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry you're so sensitive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's no yeah. apology. So. Did you just invent a word called no apology? No, that's uh, that that existed on the internet way before oh. I started using it. It's yeah, it's yeah. when when you when you say I'm sorry, but you really aren't, and you don't apologize about what you did, but you apologize about what the other guy <laughs> did. <laughs> she's, yeah, e yeah, Elon Elon knows that Elon knows that technique as well, and he thinks that I don't see through it. What I told you exactly what I said. I told you. I'm no, you sorry said to you me before. Yeah, it's great. the number one technique in passive aggressivity. Yes. Wow, I'm leaving. <laughs> The number one technique. That's good. Yeah. My. Oh yeah. Okay, back to triage. <laughs> no. Okay, you might not know it. I tried to work two days on this one. Because, uh, yeah, like having two records, one contains a list of the other one, and the other one contains the list of the previous one. This won't be mapped by an Hibernate automatically. And I tried to define the configuration to map it, but in the end, it didn't work. It was too complex. And, um, and also, it was not deterministic in the way that the name of the table which will be created could not be deterministic because there is no way to mark one of the classes as the parent of the relationship so that the name of the table would be deterministic so if you have record a record b the table could be record a record b or it could be record b record a so many to many relationships are not supported unless you create your own custom link class which we usually do okay Somewhere, but uh, there is the content picker field that can sort many. Yeah, but sometimes you want to do it at the record uh, yeah. level for your own classes. So, what is this one? Oh, fantastic, 1.6, okay, close. And, yeah. and, and, and there is also the open discussion about 64-bit application, the app pool. Why is it taking so much memory when you go into 64-bit? Uh, I still have to ask a question. Is this related to Azure? No, even on my box I can't see that. I go and I ask. But, but, but is it a problem on Azure because Azure it, is there might be like yes, there might be a problem on Azure because of that, yeah. But I can see some of, some of my apps take like uh, 200 megabytes and they have nothing. And when I run a, a simple application here on 32 bytes, 32 bits, it takes very low amount of memory. So yeah, needs to investigate. But this one is a different matter. This one is about which property should be defined by default. Yeah, enable 32-bit app on when there is not a bit of the deployment. Um, yeah, I open it for 1.7. Because it has to be defined.
I think I saw the pull request. I, I, I'm not sure I have accepted it or not. Maybe. But I see the issue. Yeah, this is a. What was the change? It's just a test, a check. No, no, it's re removing it. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I agree. Yes. Okay, yeah, because this is a code which weld it um, every time, and after it's it's checking if we have the content type in the list, and then okay, if we have a field, then we weld it. So it was just some debugging code, I think, and so it has to be removed. So it's completely valid. What's the side effect of having it on there, just out of interest? Um, almost none, I would say, because even though the part is well, just performance. Okay. So when you save a content item, then because of this part, it will try to find all the fields and index them. But if there is no field, it won't do anything. Yeah, okay. So that's okay. So an easy fix for this bug is to apply the push request, the pull request. I open it for later because we might have some already uh, open tasks for uh, extending TinyMC with plugins. Yeah, that is actually done in uh, TinyMC Deluxe, uh, made by Domanar. Uh, I created a, a hook for that. Uh, but you can use to hook into the initialization state and uh, add plugins, for example, or do any configuration alteration. It's very simple. So it's not just about Fluent and Hibernate, which is not compatible yeah. with Metal Trust. There was also um, log for net Haven't we decided on uh, dropping the Metal Trust for? No, we have asked about it. Yeah. It was decided uh, in committee meeting in back when, when we shipped. Uh, I, I think it was a week after we shipped 1.6. Okay. This has been fixed now. Oh, maybe not. Okay. It's too complex. <laughs> I think you should actually name your CSS module dash site. I, I would tend to agree with that. Um, site. So if the team contains a site, it will get included instead of the one specified. The site is just an example. 
Yes, yeah, but it's, it's kind of going back to how you name your CSS and JavaScript files, and I think you do need to you do need to pretend them with the uh, module name. Yeah, but I think the question is not that it's a mo the module if it's uh, in your th okay. Even if you do. So if you have, if you have two files, two CSS with the same name in different folders, the same one twice. That's the yeah. issue. It, it will be duplicated, and uh, uh, we let people include uh, stars and using just the file name, and then we resolve it. But it's an inconsistency in the way we're. Okay, so it. maybe we should name the shape uh, foo dash bar. If the file is slash styles slash foo slash bar dot CSS, that would render another problem I noticed with uh, with scripts uh, when you have uh, when you have something in a subfolder of the you know when the style sheet or a script file is not uh, directly under styles or scripts but it's in a in a subdirectory. And you use uh, a new style include uh, style uh, script require or style require, and you have a resource with that name. It will you will have the ordering of the scripts or styles. The ordering is fixed. It it was another bug which has been fixed. Okay. It includes and requires. It will mess up everything. No, no, I'm not, I'm not saying if we uh, mix scripts and includes, uh, but when you do only, for example, the requires, and your scripts are uh, your resources are uh, uh, which were which are defined, uh, the, but the actual files sit inside the subdirectory, inside the scripts or um, or styles, uh, the uh, how is it called? Um, uh, I don't know what the class name was, but the one that grabs all the that scans all the folders, it doesn't go into subdirectory, so it won't create uh, shapes for that, and uh, and the output won't won't be this uh, as expected uh, when uh, you know having the dependency chain. Open so the, the okay with the repro. Sure. But here. Uh... Is there we don't care? Or? Well, if the if the script include has been um, fully qualified, we should respect that. No. We should what? We should respect that it, that it has been and fully qualified. I mean, if if the author intended. For this to be overridable by the theme, he would have included it by, just by name. No. Mm. Uh, modules author don't intend to have their uh, CSS overrided. No. No, they, should, they should just specify the name, and that will work. I'm not sure it's possible based on the current implementation. Um. Well, yeah, there is inconsistency here in any case. Everything here is because of uh, Zoltan, by the way. <laughs> because he wanted the I same do? behavior for uh, style sheets that we had for scripts. <laughs> but you can see. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Well, the behavior for script is is it's the same uh, actually. Should be the same. Yeah, Should be yeah but it's so it's inconsistent as well. And uh, getting duplicate uh, scripts is actually worse than having duplicate CSS. Yeah,
Um, so what is the um, stereotype for Bill for? Um, categorizing content types and also selecting the editor shapes and display shapes. Oh, okay. So here the issue is that uh, um, the issue is when using was by design we decided not to add a text box just to add a menu and for then, yeah and then you can move it so what's the problem here they want to when they add it to position it but that's oh, strange when you add it from the content item but I that's see. strange because you don't see everything which is available a nicer solution would be to display the whole menu and to select where to put it isn't there a link that takes you to a navigation also there is so when but when it's once when it's, when it's created it's at the bottom or the top I can't remember maybe at the bottom and then you have to move it in the correct uh, location uh, it can be an enhancement but not yet later, One seven. Yeah, why is it giving an error? Because by design we decided that if it's in a project and you put none, then there is an issue. Maybe you forgot to put it as content. If you don't want it, don't put it in the project. Um, so uh, how did we make this an error? In the build script, we checked for XML file for any none tag in the project file, in the build script, in the MS build script. I suppose it could be an option, or the user could modify the script. Could have a, a switch to say uh, yeah. warning or none or things like that, yeah. Yeah, on so, the other hand, this has one vote. Uh, it's the first time uh, somebody asks for it, so... Later. Okay. Yeah, or, or we suggest him to yeah create his own build script that doesn't do that. They're really easy to create, so... Yeah. So I have to leave because I have meeting at two. I've seen that exception. Well, yeah. I've seen that.
Ah. Okay. Um. Um, we can call it a day. Okay. <laughs> Twelve. Done. Um, yeah, if you want to do something this week, uh, let me know. Sure. Okay. Well, thanks everyone. Uh, um, we'll meet again next week. And if uh, stuff that you want to put on the agenda, let me know or just. Make any um, sorry, Bashan. I have I have a short thing to add. Uh, it just came into my mind that uh, you know when we are doing bug triage, uh, we are talking about the bug, and then Sebastian gives a one or two sentence uh, comment. I think we should uh, warn people about uh, their their issues that uh, we are doing the bug triage on a specific date and it's uh, bound to a YouTube video. So if uh, they are reading the comment Sebastian or some somebody else wrote, um, they should check out the one or two minutes about their, their issue. So yeah, you know they get a better uh, insight. Yeah another thing that, that we could advertise on the discussions is that uh, if if you care about an issue and uh, you just filed it, uh, you can come to the meeting uh, advocate for whatever you have to yeah. Uh, I just wanted to add uh, one small thing uh, at the end. Uh, uh, some of some of you already noticed, but uh, I want to say that I published a signaler module for Orchard um, uh, ten days ago. So here is the link uh, to the to the gallery module. Uh, there is also a short wiki on on the on the, on the bit bucket, so uh, it it might get easier for people to use. But uh, it's just wrap around SignalR, so every code that's already written in the SignalR should work out of the box um, with uh, normal SignalR classes and everything. Plus the IOC, uh, all the all the classes that are there. Uh, in the signaler, like uh, connection managers or anything, is available uh, through dependency injection. So, uh, oh yeah, and Brett uh, already used that uh, in the diagnostics module, and it works works fine. So, yeah, if you need signaler, it's uh, uh, it's the easiest okay. way to go. Thanks. Um, you know, weather hell. Um, yeah, I uh, myself uh, pushed. Uh, an important change to my commerce was a commerce module so if people are using it they can uh, check out the changes uh, on Bitbucket uh, I haven't pushed that to the gallery yet but uh, it will be pushed soon uh, this adds uh, product attributes so that you can customize the, the products that you add to your cart uh, for example you have if you have if you're selling t-shirts you can specify the size that sort of thing so Anybody else has uh, news about their modules or sites or anything they want to share before we conclude this? All right. Well, uh, we'll talk next week. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. See ya. Bye. Hello, guys. <laughs>